Hey beauty babes, welcome to my channel. I am Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I want to do a video sharing some of my favorites or must-haves from MBA Cosmetics. Now, most of you might already know this, but if you're new here, you might not know that I do work for MBA Cosmetics. I am their social media manager. I've been so for, I think, going on a year now. But I've been working with MBA Cosmetics for a few years, actually. I started out um, as one of their promoters. I had discovered this brand on Etsy and uh, um, ordered some samples and instantly fell in love. I literally felt like a kid in a candy store with this makeup because there was such a variety of colors, of shadows, all colors that you could pretty much think of like they have and what I loved is that when I first discovered them you can purchase uh, samples these little clamshells for just a dollar each and they're really great um, huge portions for samples some that I have purchased originally like when I first discovered them and I still have some of those samples today like that's how generous the samples are so I fell in love with uh, this brand I discovered they had a Facebook page and so I checked them out and then one day saw that they were doing a like call for promoters and reviewers and stuff like that I had applied and made it through to the promoter team so I became a promoter for them but long story short or maybe I didn't short it that much but basically my point in saying that is that um, I discovered this brand and fell in love with them first and then kind of got into working for them. Um, as a promoter, I didn't get, get paid at all, but I just got sent the products for free to create looks for them and kind of help promote their brand. And now I do officially work for MBE Cosmetics, Sherry, who is the founder, owner, um, creator of the makeup um, of MBA Cosmetics or My Beauty Addiction. Um, I do work for her and so um, I do get paid as the social media manager, but I also get products and all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's that big long spiel about that if you didn't already know that about me. Um, with that, I do have a discount code. Most of you probably already know, but if you don't, it is Agapela15 and that will save you 15% on everything on the MBA Cosmetics site. It's not valid on Etsy though. <sighs> Let's tone this down a little bit. Anyway, since I have been working with MBA Cosmetics, for several years now, um, I've gotten a lot of requests from people to, t um, to share what are the must-haves from MBA Cosmetics, or what are my favorites, or what do I recommend most? And I have always put that question off. I've always put it on the back burner. I've, I thought about doing it, but just kind of felt so overwhelmed. It's like, how do you choose what your favorites are when there is so much to choose from? Like literally it's hard for me to even tell you what my favorite shadow is from them just because there are so many amazing colors. Like I just like all of them. One thing I will say that I do want to mention is that this is what I would always recommend to people, you know, kind of a beat around the bush kind of answer was that um, I recommend purchasing the shadows. Now you can do, it's like a five for five kind of deal is what they have set up. Um, and the clamshells look like this. These are really, um, I like these because, you know, some companies will send samples in the little baggies and it's just a big mess and I personally can't stand those kind of samples. So this is really convenient and nice. You could travel and they don't, you know, spill anywhere and it's a really decent amount of product that you get. And you can purchase them um, at five for five dollars kind of thing. So what I would always recommend is for people to, you know, purchase samples. If you look through the sites, go through some of the colors that they have and um, just grab some samples. That way if you know you love the shadow, you want to buy a full size. Um, the other thing to note is that the full size of the shadows are um, pretty, they're like really affordable. Um, five dollars I believe and then a little bit more for the press shadows so I want to mention that up front first just because if anything I just think that would be the most helpful thing that's like my one tip to kind of give people if you want to try out the, the brand and the product you can affordably do so by purchasing samples and they pretty much offer samples of almost everything on their sites their lipsticks um, their and um, all their shadows the loose ones and at least all the loose foundations and stuff like that so that is really nice so let me get into some of the things that I've kind of taken down note as like the must-haves and my favorites from MBA Cosmetics. All right, so rather than breaking down and going into specific shadow color recommendations, because that would take for one forever and for two like everybody has different preferences on the types of shadows and colors that they prefer so not everybody's gonna like the ones I like um, honestly like I recommend them all you can't go wrong whatever color you like look for it you can search the shadows by colors 
as well as they have a section for like really really sparkly um, shadows they call them their twinkle effect shadows as well as matte shadows so you could search those separately as well I know that the site and a lot of people have said this seems overwhelming because there is so much stuff but um, it is organized quite, you know, quite well. You can search the shadows by sh shade and color. You can search, like I said, by matte and by the really very sparkly ones and all that kind of stuff. So um, there is that. So anyways, like I said, rather than going into which eyeshadow colors that I like best or that I recommend the most, I'm going to go in and share some collections that I think are must-haves. Okay. <laughs> First up is their Molten Metals Collection. This collection is stunning. Like, if you love truly metallic shadows, you will love this collection. These are definitely must-haves and probably some of their most standout eyeshadows, I think. I just, well, it's hard to say because so many of them are gorgeous, but those ones, like, I look at the Molten Meadow collection and I'm like, whoa, they're just gorgeous. And so I definitely recommend those. Those are true metallic pigments and they are stunning. Um, I'm going to try if I have some time to um, do some video swatches and I'll probably try and insert them somewhere in this video to be helpful for you but I also want to include some photo swatches and now these are not my photos but these are the photos of one of the NBA Cosmetics promoters, Emily, and um, you can find her on Instagram, Emily B Designs, and I will have a link to her Instagram account in the description box below. I definitely encourage you guys to follow her, not just because she's one of our promoters but because she is flat out amazing. Her looks are gorgeous and her skills are just like amazing. Seriously, ugh, you have to follow her. But anyway, she was so gracious in letting me use some of her swatch photos. I just thought they were really great and no need for me to retake them again when she's done a fabulous job at taking them. So I'm going to insert her little photo swatches um, along the way for some of these. Um, the next collection I want to talk about is their, and I brought it here, um, I don't have, I didn't bring a lot of the products that I have here just to show you because there would be so much, but, um, and I want to note that NBA Cosmetics used to have, um, stackable jars available, but they don't anymore because they kept having issues, I guess, um, with some people saying they leaked. I never had any problems. I actually really loved getting them in the, um, stackable version because it kept collections together and I just thought that was convenient, but anyways, that's why you see these in the stackable jars. But this is their Eclipse Highlighter Collection. Let me tell you, these are must-haves. Now, I recently did a uh, Get the Look video tutorial and I used one of these. I used the green one, Sphinx, I believe. And these are, as you can see, they look white, but they're all different. They all reflect a different shade. And these are really awesome. So these are like your staples for creating any kind of duochrome look. I'm obsessed with these, even though you probably can't tell because I don't use them a ton, but um, like on film and stuff like that. But um. These are definitely staples. Like if you want, if you like duochrome shadows or if you like anything that creates kind of a shift, um, these are what you want to have. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and they each reflect a different shade. Let's say I have blue, pink, um, yellow, green, copper, and an orangey color. So um, the blue is actually like a blue violet. It has a little bit of purple in there as well. Um, and the description says, these are semi-sheer colors that are slightly pearlescent and look great when used uh, with other eyeshadows or over a lipstick or lip balm. Can also be added to lotions for all over body shimmer. So yeah, these are definitely must-haves. They are so gorgeous. The next must-have collection I want to talk about are the Twinkle Dust. And I have a little bit of information here that I'm going to read. It says, uh, natural glitter. Our twinkle dust sparkle effects glitters are eye safe and lip safe. Twinkle dust glitters are mineral based and are made from mineral platelets of calcium, aluminum, borosilate. <laughs> Probably totally butchered that. Um, which are very transparent and reflective. Glitter is typically made of metal or plastic. This also makes them smoother and softer to the touch. It also says these are the same sparkles we use in our Twinkle Effects eyeshadows, which I did mention earlier. Um, these are gorgeous and I have used these also a few times in different tutorials here on my channel as well. One that I'm actually wearing today. I'm wearing the gold one on my 
inner corner here today on my eyes. Um, the twinkle effects are another favorite of mine. Again, these ones start out white in the jar, but then twinkle reflect, uh, you know, different colors. It's a beautiful collection, especially if you like the look of glitter and sparkly things, but you don't like actual glitter that, like it says, is made of metal or hard plastic, whereas that can irritate your eyes or your skin, or just not typically safe to use on eyes. I mean, a lot of people do anyways, but um, these ones are eye and lip safe, which is really nice, and they are just so gorgeous. Next up, I want to talk about their pressed shadows. Now, um, NBA Cosmetics is mostly known for their loose pigment shadows, but they recently, at the beginning of this year, actually came out with pressed shadows, and I have talked about them and used them in several of my videos here, my tutorials. Um, and they don't have quite as many uh, of the pressed shadows as they do of, you know, their vast selection of loose shadows, but they are definitely worth mentioning. These are so soft, like super soft, probably the softest shadows you can think of. They're so soft, but they, that makes them so silky smooth and buttery that they just, I mean, look at that. They just, you, I barely have to touch and there it is. Look at all that. This, oh, look at that. It's just gorgeous. Um, I love using these and I definitely think the press shadows are something to look into. Um, something to note though, I know a few people have said that um, even though they're packaged well, which NBA Cosmetics, uh, Sherry packages everything super well, everything's like double wrapped in um, bubble wrap and all that kind of stuff, but sometimes they do because they are so soft, arrive broken. Um, if that does ever happen to you, please know that you can contact Sherry, um, do the contact email, and she will replace those shadows for you. They are easily to fix. Um, I've had a couple come broken or some that I've just dropped and they have broken. And you can just, um, you know, most people will use like alcohol to press, you know, you know guys know how to probably fix a, a shadow. Um, but these ones are so soft. If you kind of just use your finger and press the shadow back in there, it's pretty much fixes itself. That's how soft and creamy they are. So that's something to know. Um, also, if you get overwhelmed easily with looking at all the shadows, um, I would suggest maybe looking at the pressed shadows first because there's a smaller um, selection of them to choose from, but they're definitely one of my favorites. I love them and I definitely know you guys will too. Next thing that I definitely think is a must have, this is an item, a product that I love. Now this I've used also several times in many of my videos, especially any that I use glitter in an eye look. This works for holding glitter on all day long. It's their Glitter Foil and Line Effect Serum, and this is amazing. This is just like kind of a liquid serum, obviously, um, and it looks like this, and you just dab a little bit out, and I'm going to have to film and show you guys a demo of this in use um, for um, foiling because it is amazing, especially like I talked about the Molten Metal Collection. If you have any of those metallic um, pigments, this will turn those into a gorgeous foiled shadow that is it will blow your mind. It's so, so gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and um, film and insert a demo of how that looks. Keeping in with eye products, I want to mention their uh, lashes. Um, a lot of people probably don't know that NB Cosmetics does carry lashes, and I think that's a, a hidden gem because these lashes are under five dollars, and they are amazing. Probably some of my very favorite lashes. They are gorgeous yet lightweight. Some of my favorite ones are the Angelic lashes and the Baby Doll lashes. I also really like the Starlet lashes and the Whiskey Drama lashes. Um, but the ones that I constantly will purchase over and over again um, are the Baby Doll and the Angelic. And the only reason I purchase them over again is because I will use them on like um, my friends or my sisters or family who ask me to do their makeup and then they kind of take them <laughs> and um, obviously don't go back. But of the ones that I keep for myself, I can use these over and over again. Just like 
um, other like high higher brand or um, more expensive brand lashes where you can reuse them you know 20 30 times if you take care of these and even if you're not super careful with them you can still wear these several times before they'll you know become unusable I know I've had a pair that I've worn at least five or six times and they're still good to go so that's really nice especially you know considering the price these are beautiful lashes great quality they are made from human hair and um, what I love is that they feel so lightweight um, I don't like when I'm wearing Wearing a lash and you can like feel it heavy on your lid and by the end of the day I just feel like so my eyelids are so tired and heavy I just don't even want to open them I feel like it just looks so unnatural um, so I love that these feel weightless and natural on your on your eyes but yet obviously you're wearing fake lashes because you want them to look a little bit more than natural um, so they do still give you a glamorous look so Definitely a hidden gem there that I definitely recommend. Okay, so as um, you guys know, if you're familiar with my channel or my Instagram account or anything like that, you guys know that NBA Cosmetics has come out with quite a bit of new products and I actually did film a video recently talking about all the new products almost all of them because since filming that video they've come out with a few more things and it's like oh, there's so much stuff it's like I can't ever keep up but I love it at the same time so anyways I feel like I've already kind of talked about these products so I'm just gonna touch on them really quickly but they are some of the newer items that I have just fallen in love with so the first thing I want to talk about is their um, cream foundation it looks like this it's just like a simple black compact it does have a sponge underneath, which I um, have used a couple times, but I really prefer using this with a um, kabuki brush, a rounded top, not flat top. And I've said this already several times before, I'm, I know, and I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive, but for anybody new who hasn't seen me talking about this stuff, this foundation is amazing I love it I feel like when I use it and wear it um, even when I use whether I use a sponge or whether I use a brush there are never any brush strokes it goes on just flawless like I have said this again I'm gonna repeat myself but I I put it on for the very first time when I first tried this and was like I literally like jaw dropped I was like oh this stuff's amazing it looked amazing it is a cream but I feel like it finishes kind of like a powder um, you still get a good full coverage um, that is buildable um, but it doesn't feel heavy at all like it just feels smooth and it just I just I really love it I can't rave about it enough and I um, they've always had like a loose um, loose powder foundation but they also recently came out with um, a pressed powder foundation as well as a liquid foundation which I have not tried yet but I'm anxious to be trying those as well but I do recommend the cream um, foundation for those of you who like cream and even for those of you who don't because I don't typically like cream foundations but I have fallen in love with this I highly recommend it um, the next product is one of their shimmering bouquets um, I posted pictures of this I've showed this on video several times before but it just has this really pretty rose imprinted um, impression on this so I mean if you're sucker for packaging like me I mean they're kind of a must-have no matter what <laughs> and then up next I've talked about this before too is the um, their blushing bouquets and I believe there's eight of them um, but they just look so pretty look at them these rose pressed blushes are gorgeous but they um, go on very um, what's the word they just go on very, um, just beautifully. I can't think of the word. It was on the tip of my tongue and now it escaped me. But um, they go on very beautifully and blend very beautifully. And they are just beautiful in general. So um, again, it's another new product that I definitely recommend giving a try. Okay. Now, um, another thing that NBA Cosmetics is pretty well known for is their lipsticks. Again, they have a huge variety of different shades, different colors. I mean, going from neutrals to your your regular pinks and reds to more wild colors like green and blue and purple and um, they even have a black they have a huge variety what I love about the NBA cosmetics lipsticks is that a lot of them are like a matte to semi matte finish so that means you get the long lasting wear of a matte lipstick yet you don't get the dehydrating drying effect of a matte lipstick so they go on and they don't look super like flat matte um, so they still have like a little bit of a, I don't know how to explain to it, not sheen, but kind of to them, 
hard to explain, but what I'm saying is I love them because they're so long lasting. I'm surprised always, every time I wear, I'm always surprised by how long lasting they are, yet um, uh, very moisturizing at the same time. They don't, I don't ever feel like my lips are dried out. I just feel like they always look really good with these lipsticks on. So I definitely recommend the AMBA Cosmetics lipsticks no matter what shade you guys want to try. Um, but it's definitely fun because they have such a wide variety of colors and shades to select. And like I said, again, you can purchase samples of the lipsticks as well. I can't remember the price on those ones. It's a little bit more than the shadows. Um, but you get a clamshell and a very generous um, amount of product in those. With that being said, I mentioned this also in, in my What's New with MBA Cosmetics uh, video, but I will mention again that MBA Cosmetics also has three different sizes of uh, lippies that you can buy. So you could buy the full size, which just simply looks like a little simple tube like this, and it's a full size. Then they also have them whipped in a jar. This is uh, the same amount as a full size product, except for it's whipped in a jar, um, making it very easy to apply with lipstick or travel with, or if you're making makeup artist, you know, and use a lip brush and kind of stuff like that. Um, it's the same amount of product and I do actually be believe it's a little bit cheaper too um, to get them in the jar. And then the next option would be to buy the petite lipsticks and these are also a little bit cheaper as well. You do get less product, um, but it is a nice option for, especially if you're someone like me who has a ton of lipsticks and doesn't necessarily need a full size. So um, I actually have more of the petite size lipsticks ra um, rather than the full size just because I just think they're convenient and like I said, I don't need like the full size. Um, so yeah, I love that they offer that. Uh, Carrying on with lip products, uh, NBA Cosmetics recently, I don't know why I keep saying NBA Cosmetics like I'm talking about a different brand, but <laughs> they recently came out with some lip liners. And um, my favorite lip liner of all time is from Model Co. It's their Illusion Nude Lip Liner. I wear it pretty much 98% of the time. But since trying NBA Cosmetics uh, lip liners, I've actually really fallen in love with them. I like them a lot. So I do have four now. Um, and I just pulled out two to show you, but they're just your standard um, lip pencils that you have to sharpen yourself, but they have, I believe, 12 shades to choose from, and they're definitely worth giving a shot. I can't remember the price, so I'm sorry about that, but I really, really like their lip liners. I think they're great. So yeah, with that, the last thing I'm going to be sharing today is something that is probably one of their newest things, um, newest releases, and this is their Liquid Matte Lip Colors. Uh, they have eight shades, and I currently just have one, but I just am going to be ordering a few more because they are amazing. If you follow me on Snapchat, or even if you watched my Mailbox Monday video, you already saw me talking about this, and so uh, it's amazing. This. For a matte liquid lipstick, again, just like with their other lipsticks, it is very moisturizing. I was shocked when I first tried this how creamy it went on. And then also something I noticed like with other liquid matte lipsticks, um, when you put it on, it kind of, they go on unevenly or they dry like super quickly so you have to really work fast and then if you try to put another layer on, it just totally messes up. Like maybe it's user error, maybe I just have issues, but that's what I find um, with a lot of other matte liquid lipsticks. They're kind of a pain. You have to really get it done the first time and quickly or else it's kind of like a hot mess. Not with these. I find that they go on super creamy and um, they don't take a ton of time to like dry. I mean, they still dry quickly, but not as quickly as a lot of other ones um, because they are creamy and very moisturizing. The other thing that I notice about it, some other um, matte lipsticks is that you get that stick. You know what I'm talking about? When if you touch it, it feels fine, but if you, your lips touch each other, you know, you get that little and then it sticks together. Um, these don't do that. It does have that little bit of stick for a little bit until it's fully dry, but after that, it doesn't, you don't have that stick anymore, which I love, I'm so glad for. So I'm very excited that they came out with these. These are really great. I definitely, definitely recommend them. I really recommend them and yeah. I think that's it. I'm going to quit talking because I feel like I'm a big old hot mess right now. Um, I know there's so many other products from NBA Cosmetics that are definitely worth checking out. And um, I just know that a lot of people have said they kind of get overwhelmed because there is so much stuff to look at. Um, so I hope this is, was helpful for you. And I think I might even do a follow-up video of other things that I can think of. This is what I thought of kind of at the top of my head. Um, and some of the things that are just really my favorite from the company. So overall, I really think you just can't go wrong. If you go on the site and order anything, 
you're not gonna go wrong. You're gonna probably love everything that you buy on the site because I know I always have. I've never gotten something and been just disappointed. If anything, I've fallen more in love with the company. The thing is that they are pretty affordable. That I do have that discount code for you as well, which saves you 15%. Um, I will link it in the description box below as well for your convenience. And um, I guess with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and let me know if you have any questions or comments or if I forgot anything or if, if you would like to see me recommend any specific thing just let me know because i've kind of just my brain's just it's going i don't know so um thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed all that jazz give this a thumbs up subscribe all the good things and until next time much love and hugs to you bye babes